But still, that that's not that's not uh, bad, you know. You you you're you yeah. just started getting back into it, and you're opening up the gates, and I think that's fantastic because I think once you do that, um, that there's not going to be any stopping you. Uh, again, I know that a lot of uh, when I, I'm touching on the women on the on the women part of it or the woman part of it, uh, because you know that's that's the focus of this interview today. But you have there are a lot of women out there that that always wanted to pursue modeling, um, you know, they didn't do it when they were 20, they didn't do it when they were 30, they didn't do it, you know, they, they didn't do it because they were afraid, uh, but now they, you know, some may have regrets, but meanwhile they still have the goods to go out and, and get involved in modeling, because modeling is not just about, you know, young 17, 18, 19 year old women uh, girls out there and, and posing and stuff, there's a whole different market for for older women so maybe you can uh you know enlighten us on that yes there is a whole different market for that um there it's actually pretty strong uh i would say like 30s and up it's pretty strong for uh the females the market is um very good especially with fashion and any type of swimwear or fitness wear they um and they also like the mature look just for uh certain types of flyer ads for like Macy's and or representing um, being a representative for a cosmetic company. They also like that uh, for any type of females and the older age bracket that are sophisticated looking or they want girls, or, excuse me, women that are also sexy that can represent all the mothers out there, which is what I'm trying to do, plus be my own person mm-hmm. and, and um or anyone that, if, for example, you were heavy at one time and then you got into personal training and now you have a nice physique and you can show that off in certain um, modeling type of aspects like runway or fitness wear. Or even if you want to pose, you know, nude, artistic nude, which is uh, a lot of females around my age bracket are trying uh, to also do now. Okay. So it's pretty strong. Hey, but a lot of women in your age bracket uh, aren't in... And the shape that you're in, yeah. But you do have um, you do have women that are in your age bracket that you know maybe they're they're just afraid to do it, but they do have regrets. For those people that that always wanted to do it but they were afraid to, what advice would you give them? I would. What I would do is I would tell them that they should um, find a photographer that would. Uh, focus on any strong points that they have. Um, for example, if they're into, uh, I don't know, face, like skin care, and just find someone that they can trust that could help them out and be able to find it within themselves. If that's a passion that they have, I feel that they should do that. I feel that they sh- should. It will, pre- will project through the photography. It will show just through their expression in their eyes that they have the strength to do it, and it'll make them successful, and they'll feel confident about themselves also. Oh, that's well. that's what I think they should do. Okay, well, that, that's the advice from Bridget Taylor. Uh, let me ask you this, Bridget. Um, you you are uh, at, a, at a point right now that you're just opening up again, and I don't think you're going to peak anytime in the near future. Where where do you see your yourself being? I mean, if you if you had the opportunity to uh, to do a Playboy or or a Hustler or a Penthouse or something like that again, would you do it? Yes, I would do it. I would definitely do it, and I would uh, do it for, a for myself and b to show other women out there that no matter what you you can do it and. Um, I'm sure I would get heat or negative feedback from people, but I actually would just brush it off because basically my whole life I've gotten negative feedback from people, mm-hmm. but I get more positive, strong feedback from people. Ah, see, that, that's... Well, that, I would definitely do it. Well, that, that's a big thing because you're not living for other people. You're living for yourself and, for your, you know, for your immediate family. Um, and at the end of the day... You know, you if you have an opportunity in front of you, if anyone has an opportunity to sit and look at it and say, well, maybe, maybe tomorrow, you know, maybe tomorrow never comes. Maybe tomorrow turns into maybe 10 years, maybe 20 years. You have to seize the moments. And that's basically what you're doing. And you're open to, to doing those type of publications. Um, you're open to, to doing uh, other print advertising. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that, that you're open to doing uh, some some 
some traditional uh, thirty second spot ads if they yes. need you. you know. Yep. Okay, because you've done Pepsi, you've done things like that. Uh, you're also open to doing um, uh, billboard ads as well. You know, so you have, you have a yeah. lot of yeah. So you have a lot of things going on. Now, where do you see yourself? You know, if, if in your perfect world, where would you see yourself in a year? Uh, within a year, I see myself um, uh, probably in a few magazines, um, depending or any type of ads like for J C Penney or anything like that. I also see. Um, a couple of opportunities. Actually, I had one, but I have to think about it. Maybe modeling down in the islands, like Jamaica or the Bahamas, okay. somewhere. And I just see myself working for an agent or participating with an agent and helping maybe being a talent scout. I see myself within a year really thriving through this career, well, this dream that I've had since I was in my teens. I see myself thriving. Do this. Well, and you have you have the passion that goes right behind it because you know in order to succeed in this business you have to want it and not just wake up and say well this is I want to be famous no you you want to go and you have you have, you got to have the, the the desire the passion the everything to put your all into it you know you were at that point uh, at one point in your life you were getting back there and I'm happy for you and I think that you will make it I'm pretty confident that you will make it. Um, because, Thank you. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. You know, but you you're you're at a point that you made a decision. When you you know, when a person makes a decision of what they want to do and they want to pursue something, uh, if they have all the tools which you have, you have the tools to make it. Uh, so I think that you would. Now, what about acting? Acting? Yeah. Do you see yourself doing any acting uh, at any at any point in your career? I do see that, but not as close as all of the print work or um, for photographers, um, because the acting is not as strong right where, where I reside right now. Mm -hmm. So until I leave where I'm residing and move to where the acting is stronger, then that's when I'm going to pursue that. So probably, I mean, I can't give an exact time, but not within a year. Um, but the acting, I do have knowledge of that, so I I do want to pursue that, but not as strong as all the print work. Okay, so the big thing for you is the, the modeling, um, and I think yes. that yeah, if any photographers, if any um, magazine publishers uh, are listening to the show and they want someone that is uh, that is over thirty, uh, in great shape, that has that has a great presence, you know, they should uh, reach out to you now. How? Um, with, with these uh, these people that are involved in, in the industry, uh, how can they find out more about Bridget Taylor? Well, they can go on MySpace. I have a MySpace. They can look that up, or they can go. They can contact me through Facebook, um, or they can contact me through the Sexiest Moms website. And eventually, I'm going to try to put up my own website, but I just haven't had a chance to do that. Okay. Or they can contact me through Model Mayhem. And right there, everything's there. All the contact information is there, also. Okay, so they can go to well, probably MySpace uh, is mm -hmm. is a good situation for them to reach out to you because you have pictures on there and everything, right? Yes, I do. I have the, I have pictures on there. Okay, yep. so they can go and they can see your pictures and they can see where you would fit in and they can contact you there. Um, and I think that, as I said, you know, I think that your you know, your career, even though you took a break will come back and it will blossom because it's it's your time to, to make everything happen and you have a passion for it which is fantastic yes I do have a strong passion and even if people are anyone male female young older ever have a setback from anything or something comes up and they can't pursue their dream because you never know what can happen in a person's life you always, if you have that drive, like you say, Lou, or the passion, you can always have it come out again if you're given the opportunity and jump on any opportunity you have to help succeed with your dream. That's that's my motto, or that's the way I think, and I hope I can project that to other people. Also. Well, I mean, it's a good way to think, and I think that you are projecting that. You know, just with your actions and what you're doing is showing that you know what you can't you can't let anything hold you back from achieving your dreams because once you do that. Then you're lost, and then what are you here for? You're 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 born.